Hi guys, it's John from GIS Priority, and today we're going to show you how to create an overview map in ArcMap. So the first thing we need is an additional data frame. Um, so we want to go up to Insert, and we want to go to Data Frame. Now that we have our secondary uh, overview map data frame, I'm just going to resize it here. And I want to bring in any layers that I want to show on that overview map. So for me, I want to have the United States states boundaries here and I'm just gonna zoom in the map a little bit closer um, to the east coast where I'm working. And as you can see, it looks somewhat similar and more scaled out though than my base map. Now the second thing I wanna do, I mean right there, that's an overview map. You have two data frames and one working with the same layer, but you could bring in any different layer. And it's basically an overview map as it is. But we wanna show an extent indicator that's actually dynamic too as we scale the base map. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to go to the properties of the secondary data frame, the overview data frame, and you want to go into extent indicators. And here you'll see the other main data frame listed. So base map is my data frame. You want to click the over button here, and then you can set uh, a couple different properties. You can set the actual indicator um, style. You can keep it red. You can change the different sizes and whatnot. I'm just going to leave the default and I'll come back to actually what uh, use simple extent does and show leader will actually show you what that does too. Um, so let's just turn that on and see what happens. And as you can see it created a extent indicator on the overview map to show actually the scale that we're at on our main uh, data frame. So if I change, let's activate the main data frame here and as I say I zoom into Brooklyn you'll see the red box has gotten very small and it actually dynamically changed the scale indicator when I changed the main data frame. So that is how you dynamically uh, move around your base map, uh, your, your main data frame, and actually have that indicator um, rescale as needed. Now another cool feature, going back to those options, is if we go to the main data frame properties and say we had some clipping already turned on. So say we were clipping to a specific layer, say my New York counties. So as you'll see, my main data frame now is strictly clipped to just the counties in New York State. I'll wait for it to reload everything here. Okay, so now as you'll see, without that, if we go back to the overview map uh, properties here and we go back to extent indicators, now what that did is, without using the simple extent box checked, it actually dynamically creates that scale indicator according to whatever clipped uh, scale you had in your main data frame. So it actually shows the scale indicator as the entire state that we clipped to. Now if I click use simple extent, what that's going to do is it's going to bring back that red box that we had before. So if I hit apply, see now we're back to the red box indicator. So if you just want that whole normal look which a lot of people like um, you can do that but if you wanted to actually highlight where you're working um, some people like that you just leave that option off and it'll actually stick to whatever clipped uh, borders you have and all the show leader option does is it'll actually put a red line indicating what data frame that the overview map is referencing so if we had multiple data frames this would actually be useful um, I tend not to use it too much but some people do. If you have multiple data frames, you need it. So as you can see, the red line kind of uh, ordered out here. Let's, let's hit OK and see if I can show you it a little bit easier. Um, I have some, some internet base maps, so they're actually taking a little bit longer to load here. Let me turn some of them off. Let's see if I can turn it off and speed it up a little. It's the fun part when you use clipping in a data frame, it actually uh, plays with the redraw. And then having a lot of labels doesn't help either. So as you can see, the leader line actually points to the actual data frame it references. So that's how you create um, an overview map in, in ArcMap. And that's how you create a dynamic uh, scale extent for the overview map according to whatever your main data frame is.